My name is Dr. George Graham. I'm here to discuss the neurological effects of COVID-19. So uh, inpatient and high acuity uh, settings, we see that COVID-19, as everyone knows, is certainly associated with an increased risk of clotting disorders. The fortunate news is we're starting to realize that it's, it's still a relatively uncommon, but outside the hospital is what we're here to discuss more of, you know, what are the long-term ramifications of having uh, coronavirus? And uh, the first and foremost that people are starting to realize are high-functioning people is, is that they're kind of a little bit off of what people have referenced as kind of the COVID fog. And that's gonna become a generalized term to reference just kind of not feeling completely normal cognitively. But the good news is that that does wear off over time. It does take, you know, potentially weeks or a couple months, uh, but that shouldn't be a permanent uh, manifestation. Muscle weakness is, is probably a combination of coronavirus, but plus also not being as active during the virus and then afterward, um, but something that should resolve. And so we recommend, you know, high activity levels when you can when you can do that safely. Depression, anxiety, and psychiatric manifestations are something that, you know, everyone's seen a lot of in the last year, just given kind of the crisis at hand, but also maybe a little bit more so with uh, coronavirus patients. If you have any weakness that's one side or the other or stroke-like in nature or sudden onset, absolutely call 911. If you're noticing that your memory complaints are, are very prominent and they're not going away, um, it would be a good time to contact your primary care doctor and potentially consider a referral to neurology. Lastly, you know, getting a big part of all of this is is kind of getting back to normalcy as a society. And you know, I'm a very strong believer that the uh, the vaccine is is the best way to go about doing that.